name is Amal Dev PJ and I'm an assistant professor of English from Vimla College Vishu. So today I want to tell my students about the significance of their subject that is literature. Now I have been pursuing the study of literature for a really long time and if at all a person pursues something very passionately for a really long time there should be some key motivations that uh, drive that person so I would try to share some key factors that uh, inculcate or that keep myself interested in the subject of literature. Uh, the very first reason is that uh, literature probably is, is one significant or literary studies probably is one significant need of the times. How is that possible? So what does literature have to do with all these uh, things that are happening in the society? Because uh, human beings in order to survive need a deeper understanding of other people's lives, other people's stories. Now, if I am a person born into a particular culture or a, a particular social or economic environment, it is quite natural that my experiences and my ways of looking at life would be influenced by that context. I may not be able to perceive things or understand things beyond this uh, immediate context of mine. So what do we do? We need more exposure. Uh, we need to learn more about other cultures, other people, their stories, their dreams, their emotions. And how do we do that? Can we go around asking people, how do you feel about this? Or what is your economic background? Or, uh, uh, or how does a person from your socio-economic background think about a particular issue? Can we do that? Can we go around asking everybody these questions and uh, try to develop a better understanding of life? We may not be able to do that, but there is then uh, literary studies which actually makes it possible in a way. I'll explain how. Now imagine that you want to write something right now in 2020 uh, during this COVID pandemic. Obviously when you sit down on your table and try to write something, all these things that are happening around would influence you directly or indirectly. You may not uh, specifically write about the COVID pandemic or the lockdown or anything, but the, the kind of mental pictures that you will have or the kind of attitude with which you will write, all this will be definitely influenced by the whole thing, uh, the whole uh, business of Corona that is happening around. So similarly, I am arguing that every literary work is a product of its times. Now, if you look at uh, uh, the historical times, the, the cultures and the ways in which people live, it was not uh, like the way we are now. So there is a kind of development, whether we call it development or regression, that's up to you. But there is of course something that is uh, very significant, which is change. The cultural landscape of 1950s is not the cultural landscape of 2020 or the cultural landscape of the 18th century is not the cultural landscape of the 17th century. Uh, the political relationships, the way in which human beings perceive life, the way in which human, human beings understand nature, the sciences, everything is drastically different. So what I am saying is that this context or this historical, social or political context in which a human being exists actually influences the way in which they perceive things. It influences their world views and these world views or perceptions influence the way in which they write. So we can conclude that every literary work that somebody writes is actually a product of its time. That is uh, all the natural, social, cultural, political and economic uh, uh, environments influence every literary work. So when you're reading a, a piece of work from some historical juncture, you're not just reading one person's perspective but rather, you're also uh, reading a microcosm of the larger uh, cultural space around that work. So this is something huge, right? This is something very significant. Uh, now we, we may not have thought of literary studies from this perspective. So this actually makes literature a, a uh, a reservoir of stories, a reservoir of emotions. Now, we may read about historical events or historical times from many other sources. Like we have history, we have journalism. So we may read about all these events from all those sources. But what is actually 
peculiar about literary studies uh, now when we read a work of history or when we read a uh, work of uh, when we read a journalistic record do we understand uh, how the people of those times felt uh, or uh, do we understand what they went through or how did they emotionally respond to those times or those situations do we understand those things no right uh, most of the time not uh, so but when you read a work of literature actually you get to experience a bit of all that or you get to know how a person living at that uh, historical juncture or in that cultural or socio political space how that person would have felt or uh, what would have been the mental orientation of uh, those people at that time uh, now imagine the case of anne frank's diary uh, we have read a lot about the nazi holocaust uh, and uh, many incidents associated with that before but when we read anne frank's diary we know how individuals subjectively responded to those events how devastated those people were uh, during those times so uh, when we read uh, some work from some other other historical point uh, during the first world war maybe or during uh, the the great plague maybe when we read all those works we actually uh, are exposed to many emotions many subjective responses of humans uh, even though they are artistic representations they definitely reflect those times and how people of those times responded to all those things happening around them so every literary work is a reservoir of emotion stories and subjective responses uh, every literary work is a cultural artifact that would actually tell you about the historical natural social and economic and political environment of the time so what i want to tell you is that the subject that you're learning is not uh, just for entertainment or uh, not just to pass time but rather this is a very significant subject now when we read each work of literature we are actually exposing ourselves to uh, experiences that we personally may not experience I am a teacher I I belong to a an upper middle class family I I belong to the Indian not Kerala culture so the, my experiences would definitely be limited to those but when I read uh, many works of literature from different parts of the world from different historical times i understand that uh, how those people perceived life what were their ideas about life and the whole experience of reading actually enriches my understanding of life makes me a deeper person and uh, this is not just for personal growth but rather for the growth of society uh, when i learn all these things when i learn about all these differences uh, 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 that are there in the minds of people uh, the next time some somebody disagrees with me or next time somebody has a different perspective about something i'll understand that uh, you know uh, uh, these differences matter that uh, every individual uh, looks at different uh, things differently because of their uh, environment or because of their the 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 cultural context in which they live in so that would actually make me a more accepting person uh, a more uh, more what to say kind human being so uh, this could actually be a solution to many other problems of intolerance that human beings are facing now so it would actually help you empathize better with the rest of humanity also so uh, literary studies might just be Uh, the best thing that you can do on the planet right now uh, because we need more empathy we need uh, people who embrace differences so i think that will do for today i'll see you in the next class thank you